CBI has registered a preliminary inquiry against certain former ministers and bureaucrats in the Gujarat government based on new evidence in the Ishra Jahan encounter case. Uh, Poonam is on the phone line with more details. Yes, Poonam. Well, these obduries were handed over by uh, G.L. Singhal in this case to the CBI a, month, a few months ago. It was uh, with CBI for quite some time. But uh, almost 15 days ago, a fresh preliminary inquiry was registered by CBI on the basis of this audio tape. Because this audio tape uh, clearly shows the conversa conversation between some of the top officials in uh, Gujarat government and the ministers in which the conversation uh, mainly focused on the fact that the SIT probe which is going on in Isha Jahan case should uh, be manipulated. There were, there were con uh, conversations uh, clearly hinting towards uh, the fact that the uh, damage they intended to create in the Isha Jahan probe. So uh, basis, on the basis of that, the CBI has already registered a preliminary inquiry. So far, they have not questioned anybody in this case. But what CBI is saying that uh, only after conducting a preliminary inquiry will they be in a situation to speak about the fact that how crucial these could be in the entire probe. These tapes were recorded by JL Singhal uh, around uh, 2011, uh, but it was handed over to CBI uh, quite, for quite some time. Uh, the fact is now that uh, why CBI took so, ma so many months to register a preliminary inquiry in this matter is something what CBI is not talking, because this is uh, one of the most sensitive cases which will also have a major political repercussion in the, uh, uh, in the Isra Jahan case as we have seen that in the past also questions have been raised um, on the fact that why CBI has let off Amit Shah, the close aide of Narendra Modi in this case. So these, keeping uh, uh, in mind the facts, uh, this certainly will have a major repercussion if at all right. the PE is converted into a regular case.